What if you could use wearable technologies, behavior change techniques, and artificial intelligence to help solve one of society's biggest problems? Imagine if you could detect in advance that someone trying to stay sober from opioids has a higher likelihood of relapsing, going back to using. And imagine if someone who overdosed could have EMS and a member of their support network alerted in real time to allow for life-saving treatment to be administered before it's too late. According to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, currently 30 million individuals in the U.S. are struggling from substance misuse. And this number is even larger based on the number of families that are also being affected, 12 million of which have opioid substance misuse. Once individuals enter treatment, some facilities offer 30 days, but longer stays prove to be more effective. Current statistics indicate that 90% of opioid substance misusers relapse. The opioid crisis is a growing health epidemic, which does not discriminate by zip code, income, or career. This is an epidemic that's chock full of many moving parts that are associated with this disease including prevention, addiction, and recovery. I'm not just the founder, I'm a user interface and user experience designer. When looking at this problem from a design perspective, my team and I started small. We sat in a room for hours with our brains, a whiteboard, and as usual, too few color options for markers. We used our expertise and unique life experiences to craft a solution focused on empowering individuals struggling with addiction to change their behavior with the support of technology. We then spoke to people and organizations most affected by relapses and overdoses to find out what their pain points are and how and if our idea could solve those. While addiction is a medical disease, clearly doctors and prescriptions can only go so far. A person has to not only have the desire to be in recovery, but also the tools and resources to make changes to their life themselves, on their own, but not alone. And what about the individuals who do not have the resources to afford the time, space, and access to high-level, full-service treatment? How do they manage their recovery? This is where the importance of using technology to aid in behavior change is key to help democratize addiction recovery. We envisioned a solution where wearable smartphones and artificial intelligence, all of which have recently evolved, could be used for recovery. So how does this work? Through the use of AI, we can psychologically impact behavior change by providing relevant and crucial data to help maintain long-term sobriety and a healthier recovery process. We will detect factors such as heart rate, stress levels, and GPS location. Here's a hypothetical example. Meet Amy. Amy recently finished a 28-day stay in an inpatient treatment facility because that's all her insurance would cover. A few weeks later, her father passed away. Now her sleep is off, she's smoking more cigarettes than usual, She's skipping her support group meetings, has a racing heart, and she's getting jittery and sweaty. She can't stop thinking about using again. Based on her physiology and behavior, we tell Amy that her patterns resemble a drug-craving obsession state. Does she want to do anything about it? Amy chooses to have a supportive message, photo, and phone call she set up for herself in advance. It's a photo of her daughter, and the message says, I don't want to lose you again. I love you. We then help her connect to her 12-step sponsor, and she's able to make it through this relapse mode state without relapsing. The beauty of our technology is that interventions can be completely customized in advance to do whatever people know will help them most in their time of need. We are utilizing strategies from behavioral economics, motivational interviewing, and cognitive behavioral therapy to help nudge people towards positive behavior change. We will also detect overdoses to give quicker access to life-saving medications like Narcan. 
it's a guardian angel on your wrist to help when people might not be motivated enough to help themselves on their own. People using this system can get rewarded for doing well in their recovery. We can lower service costs for users who follow their treatment protocols, like attending their support group meetings and going to their therapy appointments by using geofencing. If someone's not needing a lot of help, they can get a lower monthly fee to encourage them to keep using the system affordably so that if or when they relapse again, they will have a system already in place to help. This wearable platform technology won't be a sole means for coping with addiction. It will augment it, making other evidence-based treatments more powerful. It's all hands on deck with this problem we're facing, and we can boost the efficacy of tools like medication-assisted treatment, cognitive behavioral therapy, support groups, and 12-step programs. To make shoes, we need to sew together the fabric and soles in a certain way to achieve the functionality and features we are looking for. We are designing for behavior change. For this tool, we need to expertly weave together wearable smartphones and artificial intelligence. So what makes designing for behavior change different? In many ways, developing a product to achieve complex behavior change is the same as developing any other product, and usability and aesthetics are key. One interesting component I'm quite fond of is colors. In this case, based off of color theory research, I use red, yellow, and green, traffic light colors, to indicate in a quick, easy to grasp way what risk level is good, what's bad, and when to be cognizant of a potential problem. This will be helpful for both the person in recovery using the app and a dashboard monitor at a treatment center or someone in their support network who they allow access to their profile status. For folks using the app, they will likely need to be able to gauge quickly and easily what their status is. And using a color profile associated with risk status is one way to make that easier. Now, imagine being able to use this pattern detection, AI, and intervention technology to empower individuals to change any unwanted behavior on their terms in a way that works best for them. This could be anything from other addictions, PTSD, and suicidal ideation, to overeating and healthy food choices. If we can successfully tackle this opioid challenge, it can be used for other life-saving solutions as well. With AI and human-centered design, we can keep people more engaged in their recovery process and more empowered to help themselves in a way that works for them. Rather than leaving recovery to chance, we can, in a secure way, use AI and wearable technologies to add a valuable tool to the recovery tool belt. It's a user experience challenge, and we want to code a shortcut path for them to walk down to make the recovery a little easier. Thank you.